Hello, uh, competitive coaches, shooters, and parents who are interested in starting a new air rifle program at this school or college or possibly setting up a range uh, at the house so their kids can practice. Um, uh, I figured I would do a follow-up video on the two target or the target frame system that I put together for a new air rifle uh, program that I was starting at a local high school just to show you the end results and see how it turned out. Uh, the actual the target system I'm showing you now is actually at my home. Maybe I'll do a future video on how I put that together and the ins and outs and what went wrong with it and how it actually works. It works pretty good. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll find this video informative and um, look for other videos for me. Hello coaches and shooters. For those looking for a follow-up video on my how my backstops came out. Well, here they are. We've been using them for, I guess, three quarters of the season. And I have not had to change the fronts of them yet. They still hold up pretty well. You can see where the thumbtack marks go and stuff like that. And pretty much everybody's consistent where the holes are. So you shouldn't have them changing that often. And as far as the backs go, you can see. Okay, here's a good one right here. You can see you can basically you can barely feel anything on the inside of the plastic. So nothing's really doing anything to the polycarbonate. This is just like, well, I don't know, it's, I guess, paper and residue and stuff like that. Um, and the pellets just hit that, drop right down to the bottom right here. And every once in a while, I'll take a vacuum out and uh, just kind of suck them out and stuff like that. But it's uh, held up very well. No ricochets, no issues, no anything. I think it's really a perfect solution. Uh, I'll show you how it looks when we're finished. The only drawback is, of course, I have to carry these all in every day and store them inside the other room that we have here to put everything away. But uh, very convenient, um, easy to put together, and we actually have uh, technically it's nine, I guess nine and a half firing points. So I have what, the person on point nine when they finish, someone else just pops in to shoot on point ten. I already have that. Uh, ready to go so we don't have to call a ceasefire or anything like that and i guess optimally that's maybe what i would do is have a whole bunch more or make them twice the size or something like that so uh you know you can have a um, 60 shot match instead of a 30 shot match but it works well and again i'll show you how it looks when it's done and then maybe i'll take a short clip and add to this the um, um, students actually uh, shooting today as well okay see you later okay i got the targets up Looks pretty good. Only uh, thing is, I seem to go through an endless supply of uh, thumbtacks for whatever reason. I think that's typical for any range. Even at our gun club down in Plattsburgh, it's the same thing. Thumbtacks fall down, and that's it. And I used to have my method of just rolling out my targets, and then over here, just a quick show, is the uh, backs side backstop to keep uh, any issues happening over there. On an old audio visual card, we purposed that to bring out all the uh, offhand stands and prone mats and kneeling rolls and stuff. I did kind of wheel that out every day into the back room. And again, um, the firing line is, I don't know, somewhere around over here, I guess. So you can see it's uh, protected with a super heavy duty uh, tarp over here. Uh, no pellets going to go through that. You'd have to have it in this, hit in the same exact spot like multiple times for anything to happen there. So it's really safe. And of course, we shut the door over here and then the kids line up and shoot. But I'll show you the end result when I'm done uh, setting it up. But again, the target frames have worked out really well. Uh, I think it was a perfect solution, especially with the price of steel and everything. The only thing I'm not super happy about here is you can see it's not super bright down there. It's enough for the kids to shoot, I don't know myself, I think I prefer it a little bit brighter. Um, we have some uh, bigger matches coming up. I have a uh, light I'm gonna bring in and plug it into these outlets and brighten this up a bit. Yeah, the range is pretty much all set up. We gotta put a couple of spotting scopes out and uh, fill up one of the cylinders with air and stuff. And uh, looks pretty good. Again that, again, that door will be shut and we do the coaching out here and the kids will set up out here. Emergency exit. Out to school. Yeah, you know, looks pretty good. And these tables are so, also have to be set up and taken down each day too. That's another little thing. But the uh, janitors set them up so they can mop the floor. We just have to slide them back in place and put them down. So that's actually not too bad. The kids help me set up. But uh, so we're all ready for today's uh, scrimmage actually against uh, 
Chaminade High School down on Long Island. And uh, again, I'll take a quick video of the students shooting just so you can get a little view of that. And uh, hopefully this, my couple of videos have helped you figure out what to do and how to set up a air rifle program at a high school at a seem pretty much on a but budget conscious uh, endeavor. The, um, we originally planned was to put one of these tarps here in the back wall and I, we still have that tarp to put up. But that would be another thing I have to put up and put down each day unless you left it hanging there permanently. But he, as you can see, there's pretty much no marks on the back wall. The kids don't miss keeping the teacher to keep the finger off the trigger until they're ready to shoot. Um, this was a, there's one and we had a test fire just to see what would happen. And I think that, uh, yeah, I guess there's a mark right here. So it doesn't really do anything. It just makes a little mark on the wall. It doesn't really indent it or anything like that. So at the end of the year, they can just repaint the wall if they wanted to. And um, it's easy enough. It's very rare that something goes astray, so to speak. All right. Uh, again, I'll give, I'll give a short close-up video with the uh, actual shooting so you can see that. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, subscribe, uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you have any other ideas for future content, content uh, please post that below. Let me know what you want to me to videotape. Again, hope you found the video helpful. Uh, it, it was a learning process for me for putting all of this together, but it seems to work and seems to be a successful and fairly, I guess, inexpensive uh, system to put together to shoot either at home or a high school cafeteria or any place else you need to put together a air rifle shooting range. Again, thanks for watching.